Hello and welcome to another exciting YouTube video brought to you by the Super Awesome Geek Show. I'm John, your host, and today we're looking at the Transformers Thundercracker. This is like the leader class version from Hasbro. He's really cool in jet mode. Here's the jet mode from the top. I just want to show you the jet mode is spin it around a couple times just so you can get a good look at it. I mean, his jet mode is just awesome. I I might leave one of these guys in jet mode if, when I get all three jets. Because I know they're making a star scream and I know they're making a uh, sky warp. So uh, what I'll do here first is take off the guns, set them aside. All the weapons clip real nicely onto the bottom of the wings here. Just keep them all off to the side. All right, you can push the landing gear down. I like how that kind of hides in there. It's a nice landing gear. His legs are there. His arms will go down there. Head and body go up there. You can kind of look at it and know that that flips down. These come up. These come around. You know. And uh, that's pretty much how we're going to transform them. So first we'll just uh, clip the cockpit out of the way, move that down. Uh, you could, I fold the wings down like that, and the whole back just kind of lifts up out of here. Up and out like that. Yeah, get those two pieces out of the way, and then... Uh, Kind of fold the legs around, get them out of the way a little bit, so you can get the head out, move the body down. They're just clips on the legs there, and you can get them, and then fold those things down. Keep that out of the way, I guess. Bring the legs down, rotate them around. The arms up here, they... Uh, they're going to have some clips, and you just kind of pull them apart. Maybe. There they go. And you just kind of lay them off to the side. And fold them up so they're sort of, I don't know, what do you call that? A T-shape? Something like that. And the body, you just fold up in... Put it in between those two, right in there. Kind of goes just like that. There's some clips there on the side of the arms. You see them there? They go into some slots there. We just kind of pop them in there. And then I pull this down, pop it in there, and then just stick the cockpit back against his back. And it forms those, you know, the way his head usually looks. And then the feet here, they have these things that just kind of spin him around. And uh, he's got feet. Pretty simple. He's got lots of articulation, arms, legs. Shoulders, elbows move, hands, everything. He can be uh, very poseable. He can put into a lot of poses. But there you got Thundercracker. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I like to put the big weapons on his arms. I think that looks cooler if you do it that way. So I'll put those on. And then... Uh, pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. Move that around there. These little guns, I I just like to clip them back on the wings. I, I don't know where else to put them, but they seem to go there pretty good. So could you hear my cat meowing in the background? What does she want, Gremlin? What do you want? 
Yeah, she's quiet now. All right, put the gun right there. That that uh, the missile launching of, is very easy to um, release. Well, there you go, Thundercracker. Looks pretty cool, doesn't he? Let me turn on another light. There you go. Better view of them, right? So, uh, let's see. I'll just spin them around a little bit for you to take a look at them. So you can see them from all the different sides. Thundercracker! Decepticon! One of the original three jets. I don't own a Gen 1, so I can't compare them. I have Gen 1 Starscream. Maybe we'll bring him in. Let's, uh... We'll see how things go. Let's see if I can get him some different pose here. Sort of straight on so you can kind of see him. I really like his head. He's got a lot of up and down movement side to side. So now we'll bring in Jetfire. Jetfire is the same basic mold. Let's see if I can get him in focus close up for you here. And you can kind of go up and down each character. But Jetfire was the same mold, different head, slightly different wings. He had a different cockpit, all that kind of stuff. But, I mean, I think the legs are identical, aren't they? And the arms, probably. I have to keep adjusting the focus with this camera. It's very... Well, you know, if you've seen my other videos, you know why. I need any more lenses. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, Thundercracker and Jetfire, two very cool Transformers that I highly recommend picking up. I've always been a really big fan of jets, especially, you know, the Transformer jets. And we'll just throw Thundercracker here in another pose. Dynamic. I really do like his head, upper body, he just looks really cool. Good up and down view of him face on, just so you can see all the detail in this figure. Alright, Thundercracker. And I think I will bring in Starscream Gen 1. You can see the comparison. New one's extremely bigger, taller, whatever you want to say. But I really love my Gen 1 Starscream. I, I mean, he's a little bit beat up. I've had this one since I was a child. This is the exact toy that I got as a kid and played with. Well, get him out of there. And uh, let's bring in, let's see. Matt Tracker, right? From Mask. You know, he's got a decided advantage. He had that, that, uh, mask power, right? <laughs> Let's get him out of there. <laughs> and here he is without his mask on. 
It's like, oh yeah. Eh, he's not going to be able to hold his own against him. But maybe, just maybe, the Cobras can. Beep, 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 beep. What? No! Ah! Go, 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 go! Go, 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 go! Ah! <laughs> Whoa! Uh, well, I guess they both died. Cobra Commander is the leader, the winner. You will not stop me, Thundercracker. You know they always had GI Joe versus Transformers in those in those comic books. Why can't we have G.I. Joe versus Transformers in videos? Oh, great, his arm kind of popped off. Hold on a second. That does happen with these. Their arms kind of come unclipped. Make him in a cool pose and he can fight. Cobra Commander. <laughs> there goes that missile I was talking about. Just kind of flies off at the slightest touch. Heck, we might as well shoot Cobra Commander. No, no, please don't shoot me. Alright, enough with the G.I. Joe, Cobra Commander. We had our fun. Thundercracker from Hasbro. He's so cool. Give you one more spin around on him so you can see what he looks like from the different angles before we close this thing out. Because I just like him a lot. I want you to look at him again. <laughs> Decepticon symbols on the wings. I mean, everything looks good. They're not upside down. Like sometimes when you transform figures, the vehicle badges end up upside down on the robot boat mode. Yeah, that kind of annoys me. But what can you do, you know? At least this one's right. So here he is, Thundercracker. One last look before we close out. Well, I thought about maybe moving someone else in, but nah, we're closing out. All right. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Check out Super Awesome Geek Show podcast. You can go to superawesomegeekshow.com. Check us out on iTunes. Just search Super Awesome Geek Show. We always have lots of guests, uh, people in the comic industry, people in the movie industry, people in the game industry. We've had a lot of game guys lately. So if you're really into games, check that out. Also, check out our other YouTube videos. Subscribe. We've got a lot of Star Wars, a lot of Transformers, and a few other things like Power Rangers. Even got a Stargate unboxing. All right, I'm out of here. See ya.